Hey folks, uh, VM Explorer here, and today we're going to be going through my blog around upgrading the capacity disks in my vSAN 7 hybrid cluster. So what I'm doing is I've uh, got several disks that I've been using for uh, my capacity tier with vSAN. They're 600 gig SAS drives. Uh, they've done quite well, but I'm finding that I do need a little bit more space to uh, get things done. So I went ahead and got some two terabyte drives, and now I'm gonna go ahead and migrate those drives. So we're gonna go through some of the steps I did for my environment. Uh, again, just, you know, quick note, uh, you're gonna wanna read the vSAN documentation. You want to do all the checks. If this is a production environment, you probably don't want to follow my steps. <laughs> this is a home lab, right? And I'm uh, just kind of doing what's best for my lab. Uh, your uh, version may vary and you should always do your homework and check things out. So with that said, uh, let's go ahead and uh, go through those steps. So uh, a couple of these servers have already been completed, uh, this one in particular. So let's go ahead and let's take a quick peek at it. So you can see here when we look at uh, configure and we go to storage devices, you can see I have some two terabyte drives in here right now and they are being consumed by the vSAN data store. And then my capacity disks here as well, the two are the 200 gigabyte drives, right? Um, so and that's how I set up my disk groups. I make two disk groups uh, for my vSAN cluster and they comprise of uh, 200 gig cache drives. And in this case, the end result I want is um, 200 or two terabyte capacity disks. So if we look at uh, one of the hosts that is partially configured right now, I've got 101 about half done. So you can kind of see that here is we'll see that there is a uh, Seagate drive here, okay, uh, ignore the one above, that's a local boot disk, okay, uh, that is, is, has the vSAN data store, it's 1.2 or 2 terabytes, right, 1.82 or 2 terabytes, okay, and then a 200 gig uh, drive, but also if you notice here, there's a 600 gig, or 560 it came out to, a 600 gig drive, and then another uh, flash disk, uh, for the second disk group. So this is the one we're going to focus on for this blog is converting uh, this one out and finishing the job. So following the steps, we're going to go into clicking on the cluster, right? And then we're going to click on uh, configure and vSAN down towards the bottom. And we're going to click on disk management. Okay. So now what we want to do is we're going to focus on that one particular uh, host who was half done. So let's find which disk group that is. Here's CSXI host one. I'm going to click on one of the disk groups. Okay, I can see here, oh, oh, this is the one that's already done. Here's the one terabyte drive with the 200 gig flash. So I want to go to my other disk group. And now here, yep, I sure I can see it. There it is. There's the 600 gig drive with the 200 uh, gig capacity. This is the one I want. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take note of this uh, identifier here right, this uh, 806C, and I'm going to write that down. That's going to help me identify the drive, okay? So now that I have that, what I want to do is I'm going to click on this particular disk, and I'm going to do a pre-check data migration. And what that's going to do, it's going to tell me is, is this system available? Does it have enough space to e evacuate this disk? And I'm going to say a full data migration. So yeah, it does. Look, sufficient capacity on other hosts, uh, 325 gigs will be moved. So it's passing the pre-checks. That's awesome. So now we got to go ahead and remove the disk. So what we're going to do next, now that we've identified that this disk is available to be evacuated, uh, we're going to go ahead and click on the Eclipse dots right here and we're going to say remove. Okay, that's a host one, the disk we want to get rid of, 600 gig. I wrote down its number, did a pre-check, now remove it. Okay, now it says, hey, look, all this data is going to be evacuated. Are you sure? It might disrupt, be disruptive. Again, I've powered down all my VMs except for critical ones and backed them all up, so I'm pretty confident in that. It says there is sufficient capacity on the other host to support this 325 gigs being, uh, being moved remove this disk group and that's going to remove both devices the cache drive and this disk okay so i'm going to say remove okay and now the process is going to start this process can take anywhere between 20 to 50 minutes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause the video and when it's all done and completely evacuated we'll take the next step 
All right, so things are progressing along. We're only about 3% uh, done right now, but I wanted to show you something else that'll give you a little bit better status. Though recent tasks will give me the overall status, 3% done, we want to get it to 100%. The uh, resyncing uh, is really what we want to look at. So while we're on the cluster right here, we can click on monitor, slide down to vSAN, and you're gonna see a thing that says resyncing objects. And we, we look in there, we can get a pretty good idea of all the objects that are currently being resynced. So right now we can see that there are about seven objects and about uh, almost 300 gig left. They're estimating 12 hours. I think that's a little bit of a high number. Uh, I bet it's gonna be closer to 45 minutes to an hour because there's not a lot of activity going on on this cluster. Uh, but you can get a real good idea of how many objects, the amount of bytes that are left. Uh, you can see that number starting to start go down. Uh, the estimation, okay, it's already got chopped off two hours just by clicking on it. I think it's going to get even better as we go along. And then you can actually see the objects that are resyncing. So if we scroll this down a little bit, you can see it's all about that hard disk too, that one that we're, uh, uh, we're decommissioning. Oh, there's uh, another one that's getting resynced. Okay, that's hard disk one. That's fine. It's going over there, right? So no big deal. It's doing its job. It's decommissioning all these uh, objects and moving them around and putting them where they need to go so that we can remove this drive out of the cluster. So let's hop back real quick and we'll go back to disk management and you'll see the disk is it's still there and but it's in the process of being uh, evacuated or moved out. So we'll let it finish up. We're at 13% now. We've only been at it for about maybe five minutes at the most. Uh, we'll let it finish up and then we'll come back and we'll take our next steps from there. All right, and we're back just for a quick check-in. Uh, we're down to 163 gig left to go. And this has only been running for about maybe a little over 15 minutes or so and 50% and done. Uh, not too bad. So we'll let it go ahead and finish up. It's estimating that there's another uh, two hours to go. I have noticed that when it kind of hits this 50%, between 50 and 80%, seem to take a little bit longer, but we'll see how uh, this one particularly goes. It could have just been that last drive had some other items going on, uh, but we'll see. And we'll pause the video now and we'll come back to you when it's uh, about 98, 99% done. All right, and uh, we're back. So uh, as you can see, it's uh, progressed uh, quite a bit. It took uh, darn near almost 90 minutes to evacuate that uh, 330 gigs of data. And we're down to our last uh, two, three gigs or so. Uh, one of the things I noticed that was interesting in here also is if you're interested in having your VMs actually running and you want to uh, throttle that resync, you can come over to this uh, slider bar over here and actually enable um, the uh, actual throttling of the objects, right? So you can slow it down if you need to, to preserve that performance for the VMs that are running. And it'll actually show you currently, here's uh, the current traffic in megabits. You know, we're seeing 37 here and 17 going to um, uh, host three. Uh, well, you could enable that. You could slow it down if you want to below 37 and 17, a little bit slower than that. That way it throttles it a bit and gives that performance back to the machines. And uh, all right, we're done. It looks like we're all finished uh, bringing that uh, or migrating that data off. And if you're uh, reading along on those upgrade notes, we're now on number step 13, which is once it was complete, I went to my physical host and found the WWN number on the drive, the physical drive, and that matched that uh, NAA ID that is in uh, vSphere uh, for drive. So let's go take a look at that NAA ID. <laughs> Sorry, uh, let's go to configure, we'll look at storage devices, and you can see right here, the one we are looking for is that drive right here, the 086C. Uh, this NAA uh, number, uh, most of the time, if you look on the hard disk label, there's a, uh, a an ID called a WN, WWN, number and it is almost 
always the same, not always, but is almost always the same, and is a good way to identify these drives if you don't have something like, uh, you know, ILO or iDRAC or, or things like that, which can give you deeper introspection on the drives or tools to do that before time, uh, ahead of time. You could do it this way just by the NAA ID compared to the uh, WNN number. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this drive out. We're going to put the new two terabyte drive in and then we'll continue on. All right, and now we are uh, back and ready to go. So let's go ahead and do a refresh on this, and we should see that uh, drive, new drive appear. So refresh is going on, going through its deal. And there's our brand new drive. And that's the number I wrote down, which was this WWN, which is 09. 4F. So it is uh, ready to go and ready to be added to the vSAN data store. So before I do that, uh, one of the things I do like to do is just clear out uh, those partitions. So we're looking at uh, step number do, 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 do. number 17 is what we're talking about now if you're reading along. Uh, so we go ahead and click on this two terabyte drive click erase partitions. If there were any partitions here that need to be erased or cleaned up before adding it to vSAN, we could go ahead and do that. I don't have any, so I don't need to click OK. I'm just going to click cancel nothing to erase. Now from this point, I'm just going to go click on uh, cluster and I'm going to go configure and then drop down into disk management. I'm going to go back to that host, or I'm sorry, correction, I'm going to click on uh, claim unused disks. It knows that there are disks that are in the cluster that are unclaimed. Uh, you can see right here, it already knows this is a flash and this is a spinning disk. So I'm going to call this my cache tier and this my uh, capacity tier. And you can start to see the changes in the vSAN data store starting to climb up as I'm adding these drives. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Create. It's going to go through and you'll notice there'll be a second disk group that will shortly appear here. Let's give it a second as it goes through its deal. And in a second, it will populate. Clean this up a bit. It's going through its process. And there we are. The new drive has been uh, mounted. Like we said, that number is uh, this one right here. Sorry, this one right here. <laughs> 0094F. Uh, he's all ready to go. This uh, ESXi1 has been converted now. I've got rid of all those 600 gig drives. He's looking really good. The uh, ESXi02 is done. He's got those two terabyte capacity disks. And now as we look down through host three is the only host I have left to go. I still have some 600 gig drives in them. And basically what I'll do is I'll just follow this pattern again, which is in that blog. Uh, those uh, some odd 22 steps that I kind of go through. Uh, just to make sure that uh, we're checking all the bases. That's why I kind of wrote them down. And uh, folks, that's about it for this blog. I appreciate your time and listening. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please do leave them below. Uh, any specialized links will be in the description. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you.